Hello guys and whoa and welcome to an NGB VR video. Wow, what a way to start. Um that's an ATAT or an ATAT, that's that's impressive. Um So yeah, this is this is Star Wars Battlefront's uh, Rogue One X Wing VR mission. Um, so let's let's get into it. Uh, this is a free update to anyone that has Star Wars Battlefront, um, which is good. And obviously, you need a PSVR to play it. So, Ooh, wow, this is quite cool. Um, right, so let's have a look around the X-wing first off. I mean, this this is cool. That's an actual X-Wing. I mean, obviously it's not, but it's, it's you know. <laughs> so if you look at the uh, R2 unit and press X, he starts talking. Right. Let's get in the cockpit. So, oh, wow. oh bloody hell. This is claustrophobic. Okay, so... Cool, so you can press all the buttons. Oh, Don't really know what happened there. Now I know one of these buttons turns on your targeting computer. There it is. Oh wow. Haha, <laughs> that's cool. Excellent. Hold X to start the mission. Here we go. So I'm presumably in the X Wing, uh, doing my job, just as you normally would do. And we'll see what happens. So, are you picking anything up, Blue Two? Mm. Oh, that's pretty. Yes, I got the rendezvous coordinates. That's very pretty. Apparently, I'm a yes, I'm a I'm female. Sure I, I, I didn't. So. I don't like this. Where are they? Hmm. Oh. Oh wow. There's the rest of the fleet. Whoa! That's the Tantiv. Join the fleet. Oh, wow, okay. What took you all so long? Guess the rookie punched the button a little early. Cut the chatter. All X Wings accounted for, Admiral. Copy that, Red Leader. Stay alert. Oh, geez, that's my shield, okay. Stay close. And that's. Whoops. Oh man, this is cool. I'm in an actual X-wing. Well, I'm not. I'm sat in a room in the middle of Lincoln, but. Thanks. Okay. So the controls are essentially the same as Battlefront. So you, uh, you know, you move forward with the right, uh, left stick, up and down with the right stick, and no real hints of motion sickness yet, which is good. Wow! So that is that's quite a big ship. Where am I going? Follow Red Leader. Okay, cool, right. So there's Red Leader. We all knew the risks. That's that's very true. God damn it, this is, this is awesome. As a Star Wars fan. Prepare to make the jump to hyperspace. 
Oh, okay, right. So you can manually trigger your your stuff with these buttons. Are you ready for this, kid? Okay. We can handle this. Am I ready for hyperspace? I don't know if I am. Let's get ready for this. Bloody hell! Here we go. I mean, that galaxy looks absolutely lovely. Whoa! <laughs> That's awesome. And I am in hyperspace. Oh wow, this is cool. Ooh, whoa! Straight into an asteroid field. Wow. Blast the small ones. And the big ones? Try not to get in their way. And keep your eyes open for that U-wing. Excellent. Thank you for that. Cool. So I've got to essentially shoot the small asteroids. Like that one. Oh, that looks nice. So obviously, this has been developed by Criterion. <laughs> famed for the Burnout Games. <laughs> and whatever it is they're actually working on in terms of their Beyond Cars thing, which I don't think is actually, you know, the, the rumours that it's been cancelled, but, you know, if it got cancelled so they could work on Star Wars, then, you know, I'm kind of fine with Jesus. He's an idiot for doing that. What am I doing? Can I change the fire mode? Oh jeez, that's a big asteroid. Wow, this is getting okay. That's this is this is gonna end badly. Yeah. Ah! Oh, yep, yeah, I died. Jeez. Ooh. I yeah, I got a little bit behind them there. That could have gone really badly. Well, it did go really badly. I died. Um, so that engine is oh, that looks quite nice. You know, sparks flying off the engine there. That's quite cool. Here we go. So, so the reticule doesn't actually move. It doesn't actually stay completely still. So it does move, kind of ahead of the. Um, it does move ahead of the. Sort of where the ships go in. So you can kind of focus on that. I think to reduce a little bit of motion sickness. Whoa! Hello. That's a. That's one of the new ships. The new ones. Cool. Okay. Oh, I just got a notification. I think. Hyperspace will be impossible until they are repaired. What can we do? Keeping us alive would be helpful. We can do that. All right, Saki. Whoa, jeez. That that. Ah! <laughs> Flew a little bit too close there. Admiral, this is Red Leader. Extraction Team Bravo is still in one piece, but the Empire could arrive any minute. I'm requesting support and offer to the extraction team if it becomes necessary. Oh, no, 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 no. Didn't mean to do that. How do I change my fire mode? Oh, shit. I need to uh, return to the mission. Thank you. Glad to be of service. Red flight, proceed to the rendezvous. Okay. So the thing is, this this is actually quite cool because I don't know. Ah, there we go. That's how you do yeah. Oh, that's cool. So you change your fire mode by uh, looking at that button and pressing it. Um, where have they gone? Oh, they're over there. Look alive, Tie Fighters incoming. We need assistance. So here we go. Cool. Nice. So, 
this I think might be a little bit similar to the Call of Duty Jackal VR thing. Oh, hello. I think I got shot. Oh, of course, yeah, so you can L2. What? I'm, I'm in the mission! Oh. All clear, Red Leader. Heading back now. But we're not all clear. We're shooting down the TIE Fighters. Oh. Okay, this okay, this is slightly disorientating now that I'm a little bit away from them. Oh, Christ. This is not going well. Uh, I would not make a good uh, X-Wing pilot. At least according to VR. Jeez. I mean, this is very cool. As a as a Star Wars fan, this is extremely cool. Wow! That looks cool. Oh, hello. Piss off. Yes. The explosions do look really nice in this. Get a real sense of depth as well. You know, which obviously you will do because it's in VR. Um, but I think this will be... This... Oh, that's so cool. I think this is going to be my... Uh, my go-to thing to show people when they uh, want to see what VR is all about. Um, so yeah, this is, this is nice. Whoa! Oh, what? Whoa! Okay, that's whoa! Jeez! Uh, wow! Bloody hell! Okay, right, I'm losing my engine power, and oh, that is a big old ship! Wow! I mean, I knew I knew Star Destroyers were big, but that is massive. Okay, that's that's really cool. The uh, that's so cool. Uh, whoa! <laughs> that was ace. So, in terms of you know things I've always wanted to do in my life, shoot a Tie Fighter out of the sky and fly through the explosion like they do in all the movies is definitely one of those things. And this is as close as I am ever going to get. You know, unless they kind of... Uh, unless I somehow manage to get trained up as a space pilot. Which isn't going to happen because, you know, TIE Fighters and X-Wings don't actually exist. Uh, right, so come on. Come on. Wow, oh, that's so cool. I'm returning to the mission. Yeah, I'm coming. I'm coming. So the thing I wasn't too sure about initially was that all of the audio that's coming from the uh, from my teammates or my you know my uh, my squad, I wasn't sure whether that was coming from the headphones or the PS4 controller which oh oh right so I crashed into a TIE fighter so I'm dead okay I wasn't sure if that was coming from the uh, the controller or the headphones which I think is probably that's amazing one of the biggest compliments I can give it because you know you're that immersed you can't really tell um, uh, I'm in a so I've got my uh, it's all right this is awesome. So fighting in TIE Fighters. Fighting TIE Fighters above a planet in an X-Wing. Oh, this is this is so cool. Oh. That, that sounds like some kind of weirdy church organ, but it's actually the turbo lasers of the Star Destroyer. Wow. We have nearly completed our repairs. 
Yeah, it's definitely coming from the headphones rather than the controller because I just tried moving that about. So, come on. Come on, TIE Fighters. Pop, 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 pop. Yeah, so I hope they expand on this. I mean, it's nothing its nothing necessarily new in terms of what you can do in VR, but... Uh, oh, I've got to concentrate, Matt. Where's the, uh, where's the turbo lasers? Oh, there we go. So, bosh, 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 bosh. Come on. Ah, oh, shit. Alright, I've got to kind of go for another run. And slowing my speed right down. Turn around. Are they all gone? Okay, I think they might all be dead. Excellent. Oh, well. So. Oh, shit. So, I need to just get away from the fight, slow down, and come back into it. There we go. Okay, right, that's all the turbo lasers. Whoa, holy shit! That was... That was intense. There was a lot of TIE Fighters there all of a sudden. So, I mean, it kind of respawns you exactly where you were, which is quite nice, I guess. Um, rather than having to redo everything again. Let's get my shield back on. See if I can take these TIE Fighters out. Oh, that sounded close. Whoosh, straight through the explosion. That makes you feel like an awesome badass. I actually feel like a, a rogue pilot. <laughs> bosh, 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 bosh. Shit, no, wrong button. Damn it. <laughs> oh, that, that went a bit wrong. So let's have a quick look. What's happening with the Star Destroyer? Okay, let's blow this thing and go home. Whoosh, 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 whoosh. See you later, dudes. Oh, this is so cool. Actually being able to look over your shoulder. Yes! Just about managed to escape. That is awesome. Oh, that's a lot of fun. Wow. Red flight report in. Red two standing by. Red three standing by. Red four standing Red by. Red four standing Red by. Awesome. All for, oh, so cool. Welcome back, Red Flight, and good work. I mean, I, I I really like this. Just kind of look at that. Press that button. One B one, two B two, four B four. So is this? I would love to meet the person who calibrated that droid's language module. Ah, uh, jeez, that was close. I only flew into my. What did you think of your first real mission? Would have been easier if I didn't have to spend half of it saving your skin. <laughs> Maybe you did learn a thing or two after all, <laughs> Red flight form up. We're heading out. So this is the Star Wars Battlefront Rogue One X-Wing mission. It's free DLC if you own um, Star Wars Battlefront. It's uh, you know obviously does require the PSVR headset. So if you're uh, if you've got a headset. And you've got Battlefront. Absolutely no excuse not to check this out. Because it's good. And I'm going to play a lot of this. Oh. Da 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 da
So, uh, yes, that was uh, Star Wars Battlefronts VR mission, and it's very cool. Um, it's only, I say, it's only about 20 minutes long or so. I'm getting some trophies, I think, by the sounds of it. Um, it's only about 20 minutes long. I just did that in 17 minutes. So, uh, yeah, I think, you know, if you're going to, if you're rushing out to buy a PSVR and uh, Battlefront and a PS4 exclusively for this, you're probably a little bit insane. However, if you've already got Battlefront, you've already got, uh, you know, a VR headset, this is great fun. Um, so this kind of just goes back to here and teaches you what to do. Thank you for joining us, guys. Um, if you have enjoyed this video, please make sure to like, share, comment, subscribe, all of that stuff, and I will see you again soon. Cheers, bye.